All right. There we go. Let's check this is working quick. So it catches up. There we go. I'm gonna get a notification for my own stream. Right, we are live. Right, who's in the stream? <laughs> um, Max, welcome. You get the gold. Uh, Jack Smith, welcome to the stream. You get the silver. Um, yeah, we're working on Wigan tonight for some weird reason, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, if you actually read in the in the description of the stream, I basically set out what like how I intend to go about building the DW. So as a result, even though some of you might have seen my progress on it before, I've actually deleted what was there before. Apart from that little bit which I've moved out of the way. Um so what it is, it's detailing this quad like this quarter of the stadium and then it's gonna be flipped over and we'll create the main stand or at least half of it and then that's gonna be flipped over again to create the Liam Richardson stand in the south, at which point the whole thing will be detailed. So that's the plan. It's going to take more than this stream, though. Um, Alex, welcome to the stream. Hello. <laughs> Good to have you. You get the bronze. Um, I've already started detailing some of the outside of the stand. Uh, this is the Boston stand, which is... Well, I read it was actually named after Billy Boston, who was a Wigan Warriors legend. So I guess that sort of makes sense. Um... I also spent summer, th I think it was Monday night, working on this anchor block for the arch, and that was really crucial, really. Otherwise, I couldn't like end up copying it over. Um, I th thought the administrators stole the stands. No, they've not yet. <laughs> not how I said yet. Um, right, I think I've already done. Have I done the outside of that stand yet? Yeah, with that, let's crack on with it. I want to do a slightly longer stream as well tonight because I know I was supposed to stream yesterday, but I just wasn't really feeling up to it. Alright, let's see. So I presume it takes up one block, so obviously you have these columns and then I can use them to mark out where this central piece is going to go or at least half of it um, so I think this stretches across over to that first one and then we'll go from there what if I do that It's obviously not 25 then. Oh. It's 30. U6. <laughs> not paying attention, that's what it is. Okay, so I can only presume. I've got a picture from that side, have I? Or have I? I have. Albeit not very good one. That doesn't help. Yo. Alright, Ben. Welcome to the stream. Just need to work out where that goes. I don't know if it's same level all across or if it's two separate levels. Looks like it's just one down. So I 
In terms of logos and stuff, I don't really want to put any of that on the stadium yet. I want to wait until I've got everything in place before I do that. Right, let's see. That's the wrong one. Right, so I need some pink stained glass. So this is the new progress. It is. <laughs> But I've deleted what I had before, so if you remember when I last showed the DW I had some of the stand over there where the main stand was and that entire stand was done. But it was like I copied it over before I was ready to. So I've gone and deleted what was over there apart from that seating bit which I moved out of the way because I can use that again. Um, but it's just so then I can get everything done on these two stands. And then I'll copy the lot over. Um, we do surrounding of the stadium. I will be doing, but not very much of it. I've sort of learned my lesson from Blackburn. Wonder what I could hear then. I could hear myself. <laughs> right, so. We need some blue. Let's go for. Yeah, blue concrete makes the most sense, I think. Yeah. Most of it is the same. Yeah, well, I mean, it's got. What? It's got the River Douglas, it's got a canal, and a car park on one side. Uh. I need to move that out of the way. <laughs> Don't want to repeat of what happened last time. Two, three, four, five. You know how much I love car parks. <laughs> it depends on the design of them, really. I mean, some can be quite easy, others can be just a pain. Alright, so we've got that there. That's. Is that five tall? It needs to be six. Why did I put that there? Oh, I was measuring door heights, wasn't I? Alright, so we've got this, because then I can use the height of that door to measure this out. So we want... something resembling blue shutters. Let's go for blue wall. If I'm not mistaken, it does actually follow the same pattern regarding these columns. So that goes across. Yeah, despite what happened with Ewood, I do think I might be able to salvage some of it. It's going to take a lot of work. Alright, Ross, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? In fact, that all needs to be moved backwards. I didn't mean to move the brick, but okay. Shattered. What have you been up to? I'm presuming work. Oh, 
I use the pink stained glass. Uh, West Ham final live on YouTube. Yeah, I've got it on my PlayStation at the same time, so I can watch it while I'm doing this. And they say men, they say men can't multitask. I know Luke said his phone's going to be off till half time. Um, BT have always done that. Yeah, it's a shame they can't do it for National League games, eh? <sighs> Um, work, eat, work, sleep, eat, repeat. Uh, that's life, though, isn't it? And already I get my first round of Spotify adverts, for God's sake. Right, so how many have we got there? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's divided into seven segments. So let's mark this out. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Right, oh, it's a bit more than that then. Two, three, two. Uh, I've got it on talking to you and on the Xbox. Now that is multitasking. <laughs> um, ain't it weird when you bump into someone you haven't seen it in years? It can be. I've done it myself. Someone that I knew from primary school or I bumped into at work and it turned out that he was working there as well. He doesn't anymore. And then there was another friend from primary school who I bumped into at Wigan last year. So. <laughs> you never know who you bump into. One, two, three, four, five, six. That works. I'm happy with that. Although if we're on about high school, then I've not been into anybody from high school. <laughs> I've seen Vernon Kay more recently than I've seen anyone that I went to school with. Um, the past two days I've bumped into folk I haven't seen since I left school. Crikey. Well, I mean, it's like I said, you can bump into anybody while you're out. That is blue, isn't it? Yeah. Don't know why, it looked like light blue for a second. What the hell am I listening to? Oh, it's the theme from the Born Supremacy. Swap it out for Limp Biscuit. Yep, yeah, boy! Right. Um. I think most people I went to school with anyway have got now got kids. So Stat twenty. Make that twenty one. Right, that's all good. You always end up speaking to them for quite long and not knowing. <laughs> That's just me, keep myself to myself. say they're just about to kick off in Prague. Right, 
right. Let's see how much space have I got left? Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. So divides into two, so to say. Four. That's five, isn't it? Let's have a do that. Uh, Jack Marshall, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. How are you doing? That's going to have to be a five. Four, five. Yeah. Um, was meant to be going heading to Glasgow for a concert. My friends going, my friends doing, but I completely forgot. <gasps> Some friends you are. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he'd understand. I mean, there's a concert on at the Reebok at the minute. Like, I think Pink is performing, but she's doing some carnival thing so it's her a couple of others and I think the script are there as well um, Legion United got relegated they did unfortunately I mean I think what's Leeds should have done was brought in Sam earlier as opposed to just giving him four games because that like four games he was never going to have a chance not with the way that that squad was because at the end of the day most of that Leeds squad were still championship players Did say to her that I'd try. Well, that's fair enough. So long, so long as that she knows, then yeah, shouldn't be anything wrong. Uh, Cold player in Cardiff tonight. They are. I think I saw a few posts about that. Just move that back. Again, I'm not putting the badge on there yet. Not until I've got the whole thing done. Right, so we'll come across. I think the door there is right next to that. In fact, you can actually see in the brickwork where the columns are. Um, traffic into Cardiff yesterday was mental, my mate was saying. He said it's effed. <laughs> That's Cardiff for you. I know quite a few of my mates go to Cardiff on nights out. Uh, right. Let's see if I can mark these out. The reason I've left the gap there is obviously because that's where the column is. Uh, please do get said stadium. Uh, it is on my list, so I will look at doing it at some stage. But I'm concentrating on my championship builds for now. So that's one, two, three, and one, two, three again. Got to make sure that they line up properly. Uh, 
Yeah, that works. Um, one week to London. What are you going to London for? Um, cheers, mate. Who do you support? It's a Wigan fan. No, I'm not a Wigan fan. I'm a Bolton fan. <laughs> I'm a Bolton fan. Wigan are our main rivals, apparently. I've, I've not really seen them as our main rivals. When I grew up, it was Blackburn and United. So, must be a new thing. I mean, I didn't even know Wigan had a team until 2005. Just the doors, or turnstiles rather. Do you know much on Gateshead? Um, aside from you being in the National League, or is it National League North? It's one or the other, and your stadium is an athletics track. That's literally all I know on, on Gateshead. He's, he's a Liverpool fan. I would rather jump off the nearest bridge than support Liverpool. Cannot stand him. And I've forgotten where the nearest... Well, I've forgotten where the thing was. Um, who do you think is going to win West Ham or Fiorentina? Um, well, I, I personally I'm going to back West Ham. I don't know what Fiorentina are like on form, so... I mean, I may have well have jinxed Black... Well, I may, I may have jinxed West Ham at this point, but... Yeah, I'll back, I'll back West Ham. Uh, any black? Let's go for black concrete. I'm trying to do this sign here. I said I wasn't doing signs, but given that this one's sort of simple, it can always be flipped. But the last thing I want to do is try and flip a badge. Um, if you don't mind me asking why do you hate Liverpool, it's a very long story. They always seem like a very, like, they always seem like the bunch who feel very entitled to everything. As the saying goes, they're offended by everything and ashamed of nothing. That's also why I've said that I'll never build Anfield. Right, that's more or less what it is, that sign. Um, right, so we've got another exit door there, there's one there as well, so I'll do those. Four, five. I'm going to need some more blue wool, I think.
Okay, not far off the end of the stand now. Uh, I can put, yeah, I can put the barriers in. Uh, more Spotify adverts. Damn. Injury Fiorentina, yeah. No idea who it is who's injured though. I think that's it towards the end of that stand. I can add the lights after. I was saying that, I might as well just add them now. Um. Unless, because they're sort of those circular light things, aren't they? So, yeah, that sort of works better. Right, moving round the bend. Not forgetting the sign on the corner. So they're just speakers, aren't they? Right. So this side. No, stupid thing. Just trying to line up where that is. So the door on this side is probably just one, maybe two blocks just shy of this. So we've got that there. It's probably a seven wide door actually as opposed to five. Four, five. So we'll do a seven wide door with five on either side. And we'll replace that with blue wool because it goes right to the top. Right. Let's see. I think with regards to this, if I put like a blue sort of strip going across and then it will obviously flip and then I can add the details after. So that's not really major. So let's see. Come one down from there. I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's one, two, three. And go. So there's a short, there's a short what lo looks like a half block there. So then it's one, two, three. So it should be four segments down to the floor. Three, four. All right. So this just needs moving up. All right, Fred. How are you doing? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hopefully the stream livens up a bit now then. <laughs> You watching the uh, West Ham Fiorentina? There we go. That's better. There's nothing wrong. It was just. That was a bit too small, well, a bit too big. Um, I would do a sing song, but it's not cider or clocked. <laughs> Alright, so that's about two thirds the height of that section. So that would be about there. I'm doing it on the wrong section, that helps. Uh, Alright, so it's about there. It's about there. That's about right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a good size. Leave a small strip there. So I'm not adding any details to that yet, but I will do once it's flipped. So that's split into three sections. So I'll work at the space between that and that, and then divide it by three. Uh, when I was in Birmingham last week after the concert, got back to the hotel and ended up drinking with some Irish and Aussies. 4am ended up going to bed. <laughs> so it's 29, 39, so that's 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Take 2 to 44. Forty-four by three is roughly fourteen. So it's three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Mm -hmm. And from here, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Make it a bit bigger actually. Right, so I think that's now 15, isn't it? So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That's still 14. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Move that across by once. So we've got 15, 14, 15. And therefore something I can actually work with. Um, right. So I'll just put ground ma markers for them so I know which segment's which. And then I can start putting the doors in. So what would that be? 
be that would be I think I did it on one on the other side didn't I? Is it one? Yeah. So do gap a one for those, gap a two for that. I think that works. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why am I listening to All Saints? Well, that would be very apt, wouldn't it? Building Wigan, so why not stick on the Verve? <laughs> not in the bath this time, thank Christ for that. I was going to say, I don't think that's an image anybody wants. <laughs> Blue vents. So we're going to turn to the blue wall. Because I've not got anything blue really that could possibly function as a vent. No, stuck with what I've got for the time being. over each door well Fiorentina have had 69% possession so far is that a door there I think that is a door you know it is there's a door there and then there's one there as well. Right, so that wall starts roughly about two blocks in from there, so it's about there. So there's a two block gap and then the wall. And then the door is about here. I'm presuming these are either for staff access or maintenance. But the reason they can't be for fans is because at the DW you actually have, like, as soon as you go in through the turnstiles, you actually have to go upstairs. Let's get onto the concourse. And that's why the gangways are so high up. Right, so there's a five block gap there and then the wall. Three, four, five. Hmm. Just thinking. I don't want to go overboard with the blue wool. So I think if I do blue concrete powder and then work with that instead. up about the width off of that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six away from that. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, six, nine. Is that Wigan's way of introducing a fitness regime before taking your seat? Quite possibly. I mean, the uh, the stadium is called the DW, so, but then they sort of ruin it by offering you pies and pints when they get to the top of the stairs. <laughs> right, 
if you go to a Wigan game and you want pies or pints or anything like that, they they make you work for it. Yeah, that's about the right height. And then just to top that off, some cobwebs to act as, act as barbed wire. I mean, either way, it's probably not as bad as the stirs at Sunderland. Or, God forbid, the ones at Newcastle. Right, I'm just trying to work out. This gives me Pez vibes. Dirty Little Secret by the All American Rejects. block with light grey going to the away end of Newcastle is like going to the loo in spoons <laughs> when I went to Sunderland last year I had a joke with the well it wasn't last year no it was the first season back in League 1 I went to Sunderland away and I had a joke with the steward when I got to the top of the stairs that I had to basically, well, I got halfway up the stairs and then had to pitch up a tent and set up camp. It's like climbing Everest. It reminded me of that old challenge that they used to have on, what was it, on The Price is Right. I think it was called Cliffhanger and you had that yodeling bloke going up that hill. It reminded me of that. <laughs> Okay. I almost ended up yodeling while I was climbing them stairs. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of random yodeling. <sighs> Although, to be fair, if I'd have done it any quicker than that, I probably would have ended up speaking Geordie. Uh, glad to see you streaming again, mate. Yeah, no worries. It's good to be back. At least I'm actually up for it this time. It's bloody steep getting to my seat. Seeing 
Roger Waters in Brum last week. Well, that would have been at the... Is it Mortar Point that's got in Birmingham? I mean, I don't know. It changes its name every five minutes. It's a bit like the Reebok in that aspect. On to the north stand we go. Right, so it's this one, isn't it? It's like grey wool to act as an event. Probably doesn't vote very well, but it keep you bloody warm. Might as well have stuck a sheep's skin on the front of it. Although the guys that built this probably weren't Welsh. Utilitar Arena. Oh right, so that's what it's called now. It's like I said, they change the name every five minutes. I've no idea what it's called half the time. So this one, two, three, four, five. Did I do that as a five over there? You alright, Nathan? Welcome to the stream. Uh, what did you think of the season like? I think we did what I think we did well actually. I mean, I think playoffs is where most people were predicting. I think it's just a shame that we didn't have that bit of quality to sort of get us over the line. But I mean, we just signed someone for the B team today. Um, I can't remember the name off, his top, off the top of my head. But we've got him from Leeds. He's a 18 year old striker and we beat championship clubs to sign him, which must be a good sign. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say overall, I think the season was what most people were expecting. And then obviously to cut cap that off by winning our first trophy in 34 years it's just convenient that the Papa John's was also the last trophy we actually won and we scored four in that game as well yeah it's more of these light things again isn't it I think it's quite awkward really that I'm building a stadium that might not even be hosting a football club anytime soon if things carry on the way they are down the road. And I don't know what the latest on Wigan is but apparently the guy who was going to buy them was the one who got turned down at Morecambe. 21 year old apparent entrepreneur ran his own soft drinks company. I'm just hoping that pink doesn't make a mess of the pitch tonight. Or tomorrow night. Um, pitch is getting thrown on the pitch by the West Ham fans. Yeah, I just saw the replay of that. I know the Fiorentina player had blood all over him. Yeah, man, I know we got a massive income boost from the sponsors. Oh, yeah, Victorian Plumbing, if anyone else didn't know that. That's who's going to be sponsoring us for the next three years. I mean, if you've got a tough sheet, the last thing you want is Victorian Plumbing. <laughs> um, 
and the funding program Bolton set up. That's the obviously the bond. Uh, can't wait for next season. Yeah, I reckon if we get the right players in, we can have a proper crack at the old souls next season. But I don't think anyone would be settling for anything less than playoffs. Uh, and a vape looks like a nasty cut. It does. Uh, and it looks like one of those turtles with the bandage on his head. Or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think he actually got hit with the. I want to. I want to say weapons for some reason, but I think he got hit with them as he was trying to take the corner. I can get rid of that now. <laughs> Completely forgot that was still there. Alright, let's stack this up. Um, and then it's literally the same as what I did over on the Boston stand. And uh, didn't know Jovic was at Fiorentina. Yeah, I think he got loaned there. I know Madrid signed him, but I can't remember if he got loaned back or sold back. Yep, then we get some Noel Gallagher. Uh, Crikey, that was a rush challenge. Right, so what we want Basically that. It's also looking as though that this will not have interiors. Because I can't find any images of them, but also at the same time, I don't think either Wigan Athletic or Wigan Warriors do a tour. So, it's a bit unfortunate in that regard, but I will put a disclaimer up before I upload the video. Although it wouldn't surprise me if this ends up being finished before Rotherham. Um, Messi or Ronaldo? Uh, I would say Messi. Purely because he's won a World Cup. Seven people in the chat. <laughs> it's good seeing you all. I will be streaming tomorrow night as normal, by the way. So you're going to be really lucky in the aspect that you get two streams from me in two days. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be Wigan yet, but it'll depend on what you guys want to see. 
got three stadiums to choose from. One, two, three, four, five. Which three? Well, you've seen two of them. <laughs> It'll either be Brentford, Rotherham or Wigan. I don't really want to touch United until I get at least one of these done. I think that's probably going to be about three wide, I think. It's roughly about half the size of that door, so... Yep. I'm just trying to work out how wide it is, so... It's about two, maybe three blocks further out than that. Uh, have you started Rotherham? Can't remember. I have. I did a bit on it over the weekend. So it's looking a bit better than it did, whereby before there was only like one stand done. I've now got what? <laughs> I think I've actually done the seating on half of the stadium there. See, so two, maybe three, takes it out to... Actually, yeah, that works. Audio latency in the West Ham stream. What, have BT cocked it? I think this is the song I'm going to use for whenever I do... Birmingham Honey by Swim Deep purely because Swim Deep are actually from Birmingham or I could use Black Sabbath I think people are a bit, a bit less receptive to that um, that's actually I'm better off standing that up first aren't I It goes about halfway up there, so I think if I just take the top sort of row off, or top two maybe. And then just extend that over. So the North Stand on the DW is where the away fans sit. Any sort of aircon units on top, is there? No idea. Doesn't look like it.
Right. Four minutes added on in Prague. Right, so I sank that in by one. Right. I know what I'm doing now. I think Luke's the only the only other person who's done the DW by the way. No idea what was going on then. Uh, right, so this is pretty similar. So I think it's going to drop another two. We'll see. Even though that that is how it is, I don't like how low down that is compared to where the roof is. It looks a bit weird for me. If I had to say, I'd say that this first half's been a bit meh. Wouldn't say it's been that great oval. That's four high, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, then that can come across. That needs to come out. The score then Luka Jovic had the ball in the back of the net for Fiorentina. But it looks like it's been ruled out for offside. Or a foul maybe. Yeah, he's offside. Go ruled out for the Italians yet. It has gone to VAR, but he looked offside. When it sort of says it all, there's not really been much in terms of quality for the entire game, so.
no need for VAR. Yeah, he, he looked a good probably half a yard offside. Two, three, four. Damn it. <sighs> uh. Yeah, it has been ruled out. Seem pretty quick as well, which is why obviously VAR seems to work better in Europe than it does in the UK. Because our officials are just inept. Thirteen. I think that takes to the edge, doesn't it? No, it's fourteen. So stat fourteen. Half time. It is indeed half time in Prague. It's not columns there. Phones are playing up. There we go. Uh, right, so it seems like that is halfway between that and the next one, isn't it? So, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. So I mean, either way, the second one's probably about here. That probably works, doesn't it? Eight people in the stream. Welcome one and all. I know I'm not the most entertaining person, but we may do. Even though I've got this far with the exterior, I'm still not ready to flip it over yet. Cock. Wasn't supposed to do that one further back. That's what I wanted to do. Right, so from an exterior point of view, we're not far off done, at least for this quarter anyway, and also in a structural sense. Uh, let's check my pictures. Have I got any pictures of that? That's not the one, is it? That's the Springfield stand. I just need to see if I can find a picture of the north stand exterior. Because I need to double check something.
worst stream ever. <laughs> I had I had a feeling you might say that because it's Wigan. Also, welcome to the stream, Brit Race. It's hurting me having to do this as well, don't worry. But it's got to be done. It's times like this where I'm sort of glad that I'm only the second person to do this. No stand exterior, and yet they don't have any flaming pictures of it. That helps. Although saying that, it'd be a mirror of the site, wouldn't it? So saying that, uh, yeah, you're gonna copy it and blow it up with TNT. You never know. I might light it up like I might light it up like the Fourth of July. Or bonfire night, if we're looking at it from an American, well, English point of view. Uh, see, because the one thing I'm trying to look for is the air vents on the back of the stand. I might just have to use Google Maps instead. I know someone's already asked. <laughs> someone's already asked me to blow up Old Trafford once I built it. Unpredictably, it was a City fan who asked. Right, it seems like there's that all of that across the back is Irvent. So we'll make do with that. Fourteen takes to the edge of that, that's good. It's a very basic exterior, Wigan. Right. Now, like I said, I'm not ready to flip it over yet, and that's because I want to do the interior sort of stuff first. So by that I'm talking lights, screens, anything like that. Only once I've done that will I copy it over. Right, so this is where I need my interior pictures. Let us see. Do they actually have any street view from inside? Take that as a no. Um, See what we've got. The first twenty twenty two. Wigan Rhinos. Wigan. <laughs> That's twenty nineteen anyway. It's irrelevant. Um. There's a gantry going across the. I'm not doing the scoreboard yet. But there are two lots of um what do you call them bracings so there's one there one there and then predictably there'd be another one there and another one there but that one's covered up with a sign which of course i'm not doing yet so and then of course there's gantry at the top i don't know how that connects to ground level though So we'll make do with what we've got. Right, so one, two, third one over. Better bring me the horizon. This is 
that one there and then we'll go across two so there'll be another one but going the opposite way and then obviously that would flip across when we flip the stand over so but in the middle there is what I can only think of is a sort of camera gantry so I think well I'll have to add that once it's flipped otherwise it might get a bit weird so the next thing I want to look at is the gantry going across I'll see if I can get any better pictures of it Right, so it's across the front of where this arch is. And there's another thing I've missed out. You can see the bracing going across the top. So I'll try and have, I'll have to try and find that, but for the other side. Right, first things first, yeah I am going to do that gantry first, at least then it's out of the way. Everything about Wigan is weird, well I mean conceptually it's a very simple stadium to do, it's just a pain in the ass how you go about building it. Especially that roof. That roof's probably the hardest bit of the whole the whole ground. So it's fifty. Let's go quite as I wanted. Um, just thinking. Actually no. Need to extend that out by one. Oh tune. Easiest way to do this. Is to stack that across and then replace it with glass afterwards. Ninety five, so that's ninety one. Now I'm in the bath. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm your in-flight entertainment, am I? <laughs> uh, change that all to glass. Street continues. Same. Oh, for God's sake. So that's two people in a bath. <laughs> and there's nothing awkward about that whatsoever, apparently. That's the wrong side. That's better, but I still no idea what that is. Uh, hang on, we've got two of the same. No, it's just the same picture. Setting a trend. <laughs> Clearly. I'm just trying to find out where the stairs are to get down from that gantry, but I don't know where they are. Hmm. 
That hasn't always said Wigan. I can tell because it looks like they had something else there beforehand. That's two of the same pictures. I don't need that. Right. If it comes down at the end. I don't know. I'll probably just have to put like a door in there or something. Don't worry, not in bath, but in shower still counts. I hope your phone's not getting wet. <laughs> right. And the other thing that I am noticing from that picture is that that bottom part of the truss doesn't actually connect to the wall itself. It sort of cuts off. I thought they were connected at both ends, but they're not. So let's get rid of that and turn that into stone. Looks like it was red there. I don't. I don't know. I mean, you can t you can clearly tell there was letter in there beforehand before it said Wigan. I'm contemplating whether it said Adidas because it's a similar sort of A. But I'm thinking it might have said added Adidas before. Uh, Luka Jovic has gone off at half time. By the way. So this wraps round and I genuinely have no idea where this goes so I'm just going to have to put a door in here and there's probably stairs or something inside. But I really don't know. Uh, I'll go on the hunt if you like. Yeah, you can if you want. It, I mean, obviously it won't help in the long run, but it'd be nice to know what was there beforehand. I mean, that thing about Billy Boston earlier on, I only found out probably five minutes before I started streaming. Because that's who that stand's named after. That's why it's called the Boston Stand, but except he was a Wigan Warriors legend. Concrete with grey stained glass panes. How are we doing for lights as well? I've not checked actually. Still 933 subs, so we're still 67 away from a thousand, and only three likes. It is what it is. <laughs> right, so that's the gantry going across. I do need to find the truss sort of seg segments going across here. I think I might have found them actually. So it's one. Well, one, two, three, fourth segment in, and it connects to the bar that's directly across the top of this truss. So that's one, two, three, four. So I'll link that up, and if I can find one from the front. And then we can sort of work from there. <laughs> if I can 
can find a close-up image. Not that stand, but it seems like this segments on there as well. There is. Hmm. Actually, that last one works because, like I said before, it'd be a mirror image. So. So that's. See, that's the that's the one that connects up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should have eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven, but then there's one right before the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones here, right on the end. Seen one or two with JJB on it. Yeah, that would be on the end stands where it now says DW. I'm on about the one that says Wigan on it. So the Boston stand. But I'm convinced it said something before it said Wigan because there's evidence of old seat in there. Like you can tell which ones were replaced. So yeah, so one, two, three, so in between three and four is where it connects up. In between three and four, so that's one, two, three, four, so it's here. Why don't I just do this? That's better. Um, so this one I want up here. This one I want going about here. Stadium DB has the picture. So it's Stadium Database obviously. Well, that's sort of what I'm wanting. And then it's just trying to find out how it goes from the truss to the back wall. See, that's what I mean. You can tell that those seats there are new. Because the rest of the blue seats that there are more weathered. So it definitely said something there before it said Wigan. So that's what I noticed on Leeds as well. It looks like it said Adidas, but I could be wrong.
machine gun. Let's draw some two, three. That's one, two. So I've done that wrong. It's really confusing trying to see where these like roof braces are going. Not too keen on doing them to be honest, but Will, welcome to the stream, how are you doing? Good to have you. I know why there's not many people in the stream. They're watching the conference final. Two three, so that would actually go about there. Doing good on multitasking this stream with the West Ham match. I think you're in the same boat as a lot of people. I mean, I've got it on myself, so. <laughs> Everybody's multitasking. They're either watching my stream or watching the West Ham game. Which makes sense. I can understand it. I'd have it on TV, but I don't have BT. It's on YouTube. Like BT is streaming it on YouTube. They did it with the Europa League final as well. That's how I've got it on my PlayStation. So basically, I've got my PC on and streaming. I've got my PlayStation on so I can watch the West Ham game. <laughs> One from underneath where that truss is. Yeah, it's a good job, yeah. They'll be doing it for the Champions League final on Sun on Saturday as well. I can't watch it though, unfortunately, because I'm at work. Well, I think this is probably as close as I'm gonna get. Right, so that's the one under the truss. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn it. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sitting between seven and eight from where the truss is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's here. Sent you the pick via Twitter. Let's have a look. All I got is a notification, I've not got any message. Oh, there we go. JJ. Oh, it said JJ. Yeah, but even on that picture where it says JJB, you can still see there's an A on the left of that image, so I'm, pr I'm convinced it said something like Adidas beforehand. I'm honestly convinced it said something like Adidas. Do that so you can see my playlist. <laughs> Why not? Alright, so actually, I shouldn't have put that in. It's because this comes across.
Possible pen penalty check. It's gone to VAR. No idea who for. I've not been paying attention the past five minutes. He's going to the monitor. Let's have a look. Oh, hello, it looks like a handball. Could be a penalty to West Ham. He's, he's literally pushed it away from him, so I'd say that is a handball. That's a penalty. Referee's still looking. Um, he's given the penalty. Penalty to West Ham for a handball. I don't know who it was from Fiorentina, but someone, whoever it was, I think it was the guy with the headband. Uh, he basically pushed the ball away from Jared Bowen as he's gone to control it in the box. Thogden's flats got leaked. Yeah, sorry, he had his address leaked online. He also had his. Uh, I think it was a provisional driver's license leaked as well. Uh, oh, thanks for reminding me of that, Google. <laughs> Shows me the match report from a 4 0. Thank you very much, Google. Uh, zoom it off. I think I'll just go straight back to the back of the stand, you know. Looks like it. Uh, stick the grey concrete. Yeah, that is basically how it is. Right, so it's going to be... I think Jared Bowen's taking it. It's not Jared Bowen taking it. <laughs> Good penalty. From whoever it was. <laughs> West Ham lead 1-0. Who actually took the penalty? Was it... Is it Piquetta? No, it wasn't. It was Ben Rama. Ben Rama scores. It's a good penalty as well. And I'd imagine that Luke would be absolutely loving life right about now. Um, right, at least I can concentrate again now. Right, so there's cameras mounted underneath. So... If I do the single ones first, because it seems like there's ones that are under doubles, so... Didn't mean to do that. Right, so what I want... Fight I want. Sorry, Ben Rama. Yeah. It's a good penalty. Sent the keeper the wrong way. Uh, white concrete I've already got, then it's glowstone that I need. Um, yeah, might as well replace that. Now I'm just wondering, are these directly mounted to that truss, or are they... No, I think they're actually off the bottom of the gantry. Yeah, bottom of the gantry. Bottom of the gantry, but right at the back. That's where they are. I've actually lost the picture I was looking at. 
That's the one I was looking at. Um, it's crazy the stadium they're hosting it in. It's half the size of the CBS. Yeah, I think it only seats like 19,000, which is a bit of a strange one, really. But I think UEFA have come out and said that they're not going to make that same mistake in future, so they'll be hosting it in bigger grounds, probably 30, maybe 40,000. Which is just as well, because that's what it needs. Right, so these are mounted to the bottom of the gantry, and I've put that wrong. So skip that one, because it's got two on it. Same again. Blew my speakers. <laughs> Gotta learn not to have your speakers so loud. Right, and then there's the ones that have two on them, so in fact, if I, can, if I can mark them out first and do it that way. was that loud <laughs> I could believe it yeah, I'm streaming a bit longer tonight guys because obviously I missed last night and then didn't stream on Thursday so So I'll probably stream till about 11. So that'll be... What would that be? That'll be about 3 hours 15. Oh, hang on, Fiorentina have equalised. Once again, no idea who. Some Italian bloke, that's all I know. <laughs> oh, it's a good finish. Good finish from the whoever he is. <laughs> I see Fiorentina winning this. It's got, it's sort of got, was it Frankfurt and Rangers? It's got that written all over it, I think, at this point. Right, let's get some fencing. And then I want some stairs. Uh, yeah. Some plum scored, yeah. <laughs> Got it on speakers mounted on every single one. Yeah, I just lost my phone. That didn't go well. <laughs> Seems like it's all but the end ones. So, 
looking at pylons. Well, girders three inwards from there. Or is it two? I don't know. I don't know! It looks roughly the same all the way across though, so... If it's showing two on that side, then it must be two. Mounted between... Two, three, four, five, six. In between six and seven. One of Ventura scored. Right, okay. Well, at least now we know which Italian plumber scored. Uh, right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's here. Probably need to put that one more lower. If you're wondering what these are supposed to be, these are supposed to be like speakers. I've always done them like this. Fiorentina should have had a second then. Alright, so we've got that stand, the north stand's more or less ready to go in terms of being flipped. Um, don't think there's anything I need in front of it, is there? Some sort of railings going across the front, maybe, but. In fact, I might actually add them in. Five twenty seven, it should be. Actually, you know what? This reminds me of Severe and Roma the other night. So we've got the railings in front, obviously I can customise them afterwards. I'll do the same on the Boston stand because now I need to detail this and then once this is done then it can be flipped over and we can start working on the Springfield stand.
Right, so that's the railings in front. Um, crikey. These have got like the white sort of markers on them, haven't they? So I'm going to do that now. So you'll have seen like on previous stadiums that I've done to mark out the edge of where the steps are for security purposes. Then I've normally used like yellow carpet because that's what it shows up in. But on this occasion, the ones at Wigan are white. So I'm going to go and add them in now. into the Formula One theme now for some strange reason. Four Nels is coming on for West Ham. Ram has gone off. Morning mate, how you doing? You alright Ozzy? Welcome to the stream. I'm not doing too bad. There's a lot of multitasking going on tonight because I think a lot of people are watching West Ham Fiorentina, so... I mean, mind you, that's pretty much what I'm doing at the same time, is streaming. As far as Wigan goes, we're making progress. Who is it West Ham have got in goal anyway? Is it Ariola? seeing my messages. the hammers <laughs> uh, it's just a shame that I can't watch the Champions League final on Saturday So that's this stand more or less done, apart from when it gets flipped. Probably people thinking I could just copy and paste this for each one, but at the minute I can't really be bothered. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm at work. 
So I'll have to make do with listening to it on the radio. No, a mate of mine who's a City fan invited me to go around his to watch the Champions League final, but... Yeah, unfortunately with me working I can't do it. So it's just going to be a case of listen to it on the radio and then watch the highlights when I get home, if City win. Couldn't care less if Inter win. Also, after this week, there won't... Well, yeah, after this week, there won't be any streams for about two weeks. Because I'm going down to my mum's on Monday for my granddad's birthday. So, with that in mind, and obviously, given I'm streaming tomorrow anyway, would you want to stream on Friday as well? Because it's something I might do. It'd be quite late, though, I think. So basically what I'll do is I'll reword it. If I've got the time on Friday, given I'm going to be away for two weeks from Monday, would you want me to stream? Yep. Right. I'll see how much time I've got on Friday and then if I've got the time then I'll stream. you got any preference for what you want me to stream tomorrow or Friday? I mean, you've got three stadiums to choose from, so it's up to you. I can work with it either way. What's your opinion on the Ange Postacoglu appointment at Spurs? I'm not I'm not overly sure what to make of it, to be honest. I think certain pockets of Spurs fans will probably see it as a bit beneath them. Um, and I know, obviously, he's just won the domestic treble with Celtic. But then again, Neil Lennon won it with Celtic and look how he turned out afterwards. But I think... 
as with any manager, if Postacoglu's backed, he gets the staff in that he wants, he gets the players that he wants, then there's no reason why he can't make a good go of it. I think it's just basically a case of see how he does. Um, I support Brisbane Raw and got to see him play his quality. How long ago was that? Same manage. Ah, right. I was going to say, I thought he was playing years ago. <laughs> um, 2010, 2012, when I lived in Brisbane. Right, okay, that makes sense. Well, the funny thing is, is if things go the way they are, then his first game would be in Perth. Because I think they're on like an inter I think Spurs are planning an international tour or something. So his first game for, well, first game managing Tottenham might well be in Australia. I think anyone can win in trouble for Celtic. Well, it's like I said, I mean, Brendan Rodgers, yeah, he's a decent manager. I don't think he won the trouble with Celtic. He might have done. Um, but the one that springs to mind is Neil Lennon. And then if you look at how Neil Lennon turned out after he left Celtic... He couldn't hack it at Bolton, he couldn't hack it at Hibs. He couldn't hack it anywhere else apart from Celtic. I think the only decent thing he did that could actually be claimed as an achievement was beating Barcelona 4-0. That's literally the only good thing he's got on his CV. Um, <clears throat> yes, I think it was the only person to realise that, that not long before his appointment was announced. Yeah. Well, no doubt, they'd be playing at Optus. Can't remember who they're supposed to be facing, though. Oh, well, All Saints is on again. Joy. <laughs> right. Right, so now we're on the... Brisbane... No, it's not... You've got Brisbane on my mind now. <laughs> um, Boston, Boston stand. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, right. All right. So you got the speaker rig going along there. So that's. Two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty two. Just need to check I've got the right amount because then I can make a go of it. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 21, 20, oh God, 23. Um, don't remember if it's Spurs or West Ham playing Perth Glory. Let's have a look. Uh, part of me's thinking it's Perth Glory. That's the wrong season. <laughs> oh. Um, it's West Ham. 
So we've got West Ham in Perth. Uh, it's called Perth Stadium. I don't think anybody calls it that. Um, so yeah, so it's Perth, Perth against West Ham. Uh, then they've got Leicester in Bangkok and Roma in Singapore. Fair enough. I'm surprised Perth Glory don't play at Optus, to be honest. Um, right, so I've got 23 of these trust things. Um... So in between 21 and 22, there's Bar going across. And I think West Ham have just scored. Jared Bowen has just scored. In the 90th minute. Come again? When was Aurelio Gomez mar managing Fiorentina? <laughs> Fair play, West Ham. Oh, hang on, they're looking for an offside. He's on. Bowen's onside. Bowen's onside. I think it was headband man who played him on. There's no question of an offside. Uh, they get crowds of 5,000, no way it's financially viable to play Optus. That's fair enough. Why do I get the sense that UEFA are going to try and find some excuse to rule him offside? No, he's definitely onside. It's 2 1. Five added. Five minutes added in Prague, and they've already played about 90 seconds. When was the last time West Ham won a trophy? Let's just delve into the archives. West Ham United. Honours. There we go. So the last time... This will be the first major trophy in Europe. Last thing they won was the UEFA Cup Winners Cup in 1964-65. That's the same trophy that Man City won. I think West Ham won it before City. Because I think City won it in 1969. I think. Yeah, City won it in 69-70. West Ham won it in 64-65. So, it's been about 58 years since West Ham won a trophy of any kind in Europe. But it's the first major trophy. All I'll say is fair play West Ham. Luke is going to have an absolute field day. <laughs> uh, Angelo Bon is coming on there for West Ham. Right, so we've got that one in place. And then from that, so that's 21, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then there's one in between again. 3, 4, 5, so then the next one is about here. Help me move it back 1. Uh, 
MFJ, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It's good to have you. I think most of us are caught up in the West Ham game. <laughs> Um, surely Villa can win it if West Ham can. What are your thoughts on I mean, have Villa ever won it? Nope, Villa have never won it, but Everton have. Everton won the Cup Winners' Cup, somehow. No idea. <laughs> The five minutes are nearly up. I'm, I'm serious though, Fiorentina's manager really does look like Aurelio Gomez. <laughs> Man went from goalkeeping at Waterford to managing Fiorentina. I'm good, very good. There can't be long left. Five and a half gone, still playing. Six minutes, five gone, free kick to West Ham. Can't be much longer in this. I don't know where the ref's getting this added time from. Here. Played seven minutes now. Has the referee forgot his watch? <laughs> or it might, yeah, Ross, you've got a point there. It might well be the, that VAR check. Kick Fiorentina, it has to be the last roll of the dice. It's gone straight through and out. That's it, full time. West Ham win the Conference League. West Ham's first major European trophy. First European trophy of any kind since 1965. So that's a win 58 years in the making. And also David Moyes has finally won something in Europe. 
Uh, Europa League for West Ham next season, indeed. I want to pass on my full congratulations to West Ham. Fair play to them. Five. Yeah, fair play West Ham. I would imagine Danny Dyer's probably going to be expecting another set of twins in the coming weeks. <laughs> West Ham are European champions, they are. For the first time ever. So that's the second one there, isn't it? So... One, two, three. So three from where that one is. Two, three, so that is actually about there. Just realised I'm using the wrong material, that's a good start. So I think these lights are actually on every single one, aren't they? So that should be easy enough. More Noel Gallagher. I want to keep these markers in place for the time being, just until I've got everything done. Um, the speakers go on every single one as well, don't they? Uh, 
it seems like every single one but the middle one hmm can't see <laughs> Right, so we can see where the speakers are here. So there's one in the middle where there is no speaker. So there's the two in the middle there. So that's more or less where the halfway line is on those stairs. Um, so it's that one there that doesn't have the thing on it. Mind you, I can still see the rest of the roof anyway, so that's completely fine. I can work with it. Right. That's where this rig is between... It's on that last one in there, I've already marked it out. <laughs> and to put this into context, West Ham have won a European trophy before Arsenal. I guess you could say the same about City as well, but we'll see what happens on on Saturday. Tune. Crystal method. So it's this one here that didn't have that didn't have the thing on it. Some good stuff. Well, I think I did a four wide gantry though, didn't I? Uh This gantry at the top is actually the lighting rig, like the floodlights. Obviously, it'll be the same both sides because they don't have any proper pylons as such.
doing this on purpose. Party in Prague, indeed. Luke would be absolutely off his head. <laughs> Kevin Nolan. He's a wanderer through and through. It was good to see him finally get some silverware. It's a shame he couldn't manage it with us. Uh, Emerson becomes the first player to win all three UEFA honours. That's some record, that. Kevin Nolan's a legend, so I'm glad to see him do well. Good old Nobby. That's what Sam Allardyce used to call him. Champions League and Europa League with Chelsea, Conference League with West Ham. That that really is some going. the yellow concrete in because then I can change it all afterwards to glass. Wonder how Luke is doing, I can't even begin to imagine. <laughs> I mean, the furthest we ever got in Europe was the round of 16 of what is now the Europa League. <laughs> we've never won anything in Europe, hell, we've never even won the Prem. Our last title win of any kind, obviously, before we won the Papa John's, the last time we won... The title of any kind was probably 1997. So I can't really speak from experience. Of course, Mark Noble's there, Mr. West Ham. Wouldn't be a West Ham celebration without him. Uh, Thursday Cup, lol. <laughs> no, but when we made it to the round of 16 of the... Well, what, obviously what is now the Europa League... The one thing that annoyed me was like we had um, 
I think we had Sport in Lisbon in the round of 16 and could have easily gone on to win it because we'd won, well, I think we drew 0-0 in the first leg. So, obviously, it was all to play for our second leg. And Gary Megson put a weak inside out against Sporting Lisbon in the second leg because he worked, like he would have rather us, like stayed in the Prem. And I think we had Wigan that weekend. So, he put a weak inside out against Sporting Lisbon which we lost 1-0 and got knocked out, and then we went and lost to Wigan on the weekend anyway, which really annoyed me. Um, be great to see Bolton back up there, though. Yeah, you never, you never know. Hopefully it happens one day. I'd love to see Bolton in Europe, in the flesh. I was living in Devon the last time we made it to Europe. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, what I should be doing. Because it's actually in front of the wall, it's not on it. Even the officials are getting medals. That's new. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. That's good. I think there's some stuff down there as well, but I'm not too sure. If going off this side, probably not. Definitely something there, but I don't know what it is. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, just bear with us one sec, guys.
Right, I'm back. Um, Santi Jimenez, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Any tips? I build stadiums as well. Very nice. Um, all I can suggest is that you gather as many pitches as possible. Um, do your stands first instead of your pitch, because otherwise you will limit the size of your build. And take your time. Like, don't rush your stadium, because otherwise... You'll end up make, you'll end up making mistakes and then you'll have to start from scratch probably. But yeah, the the main three uh, take your time, gather as many pitches as you can. You can never be too prepared, and don't build your pitch first. Right. Where are we at? So like the That's the wrong material, that's a good start. Would you do a brief video on how you do the terracing and show how you work out the gaps when doing a second tier and walls to the roof? I probably could do, I suppose. It'd be a lot easier than doing a corner one because that would get boring. But yeah, in terms of like how I go about setting up a stadium, I could I could do a video on that. I'm probably better off doing it when I've just started a stadium because then obviously I can show as I'm doing it. In fact, if I find a stadium on my list whereby there is like, uh, what's it? like a row of boxes in the middle. If I can find a stadium that I've got left in the project whereby that's the case then I might do one for that. Uh, where is it? Championship 2018-19. So if I was to do one if I was to do one for the den maybe I could do one for the Den, I could do one for Birmingham probably, actually not Birmingham, um, I was thinking Hawthorns but there's, that's not the case, I think, no, it would either have to be Portman Road or the Den, or Carroll, yeah Carroll Road maybe, because I was thinking of the two end stands at Carrow Road, there's executive boxes on them. So I could probably do one for that. But the den's probably going to be the easier, the easier one. The den, you beat me to it. <laughs> Alright, what else do I need to add to the... Oh yeah, I still need to add the floodlights, don't I? <laughs> oh yeah! But yeah, I might do one for that. It's like four in each section, doesn't it? Uh, 
I just done it. I put the carpet on top of the light things because I always do that just to sort of cap them off. But I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll put it to a vote. Like, would anyone want me to do a tutorial video on how I set up my stadiums? I'll probably put a poll on my channel, actually. That's probably a good idea. But it's a good proposal, Max. I'll give you that. Right, so I've got them there, and then it's four lights per thing. So, let's see. So, one... Two, three. I want love. <laughs> no, but if it helps people out, then I might do it. I'll pro like I said, I'll probably put a poll out on my channel, seeing if anybody wants me to do that. If it gets a majority, then I will. But again, it'll only be when I start the den, because that's probably going to be the easiest one to do it with. Cheers, Dad was ripping me Saturday after City won the cup and put him in his place when I asked him where he leads next season. After a five minute quietness, he told me to F off. <laughs> no, but to be fair, most of the squad that Leeds had last season or this season just gone were mostly Championship players. So it's no wonder they struggled. But I think the biggest mistake was not bringing in Sam earlier. I mean, yeah, he could theoretically have kept them up, but he would have needed the time to do it. Put that on the wrong one, didn't I? Uh, Boiler Sports, welcome back. Um, just check back in after watching the final how you're getting on not too bad um, once I've done these floodlights I am probably going to be caught well flipping the stadium over so I should be able to make a start then on the main stand so yeah <laughs> we're, do we're doing pretty well uh, detailing on the Boston stands more or less done aside from that so yeah, we're getting on well. Um, I've just spoken to these guys, well, the guys that are in the stream about it, so Ross and Max, about potentially doing a tutorial on how I go about 
like setting up my stadiums. So I'm going to put a poll on my channel about that once I finish the stream to see what people would make of it. Um, if it does happen, if it does get a majority, then the one I'd be looking at starting it with would be Millwall, the den, because it's easier to sort of do it. Plus it's got no corners either, so I don't have to work them. Um, if they brought Sam in earlier, they would have stayed up. Ten games left, I would have given him. Um, you're getting on better than the team itself. <laughs> well, I'm not planning on going into administration due to financial difficulties, so I'm doing pretty well for myself. Um, let's just move that across by one. But yeah, the den will be the easiest one to do a tutorial with, so I could make a video at the same time that I've actually started it. But yeah, regarding Leeds, I'd, I, I, personally I'd have brought Sam in when they brought in Javi, Javi Grazia. I think Grazia was the wrong move. So, really they should have brought Sam in then. He would have had a decent chance. But not with four games left. Need to check it's either a two or a three gap between these lights. Shouldn't be any fours. No, it's all good. Oh, I think we're all good. Let's just hope this works. I think if I do, well I was going to say I do a stand at a time but then they're linked aren't they so I think what I am going to do first and I am learning my lesson from I've learnt my lesson from Blackburn and that's back up my stadium so let's just check that's worked Yeah, that's all good. That's fine. Um, on about admin, my mate bought about a billion quid on Football Manager with real money, signed star players, then three seasons later he got into admin and the admin sold some of his best players. Ouch. <laughs> In that case, he's an idiot. Money doesn't buy you everything. Right, let's see if I can copy this over. so it's above the arch uh, Harland he bought first with Taunton why would you buy Harland with Taunton it's no wonder he ended up in admin if that was the sort of purchases he, w he was making
Right. So I'm just hoping I've got that right there. Yeah. And then I need the very bottom of this stand. So that's that. Just give it a minute or two to work its magic. It's copying f over four million blocks. Come on. Only four million blocks, lol. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Just give it a sec, let it take its time. What was it? 4.387 million blocks or something like that. <laughs> I think when I eventually copy it and flip it for the south stand, I'll have to do it separately. Do it a stand at a time. Well, that actually worked. I'm a bit surprised, but it actually worked. But that also means, in the process, the north stand is actually now structurally complete. Now that I've copied it over. Uh, still live, I am indeed, but I'm finishing up in about 15-20 minutes. I've just I've just flipped the stadium and sort of completed a stand in the process. Worked a treat. Well, thank Christ for that because it didn't for Blackburn. <laughs> I think that was what caused the file to corrupt on Blackburn because I think I was aiming to raise it up by about four blocks, and then it just erased the entire bottom half of the stadium and crashed. So. I'm glad it worked on this, but next time I think what I'll do is copy it half a stand at a time. Because I am not risking that again. It's like, hell no. And then this is where this comes into play. So, obviously you know that last time I did it, I... Well, last time I copied it over... I'd already converted about half of the stand into what was the main stand because obviously it's got a it's got a lower bank of seating. So I cut co I copied that out of the stadium and then deleted that so I wouldn't have to do all this again. Uh West Ham though. I know it's a heck of an achievement for West Ham. I mean, David Moyes finally gets the first 
like proper European trophy of his career. West Ham have got the first European trophy in 58 years because the last time they won one was the Cup Winners' Cup in 65. And then Kevin Nolan, obviously being a former Bolton player, gets his first tr- like proper trophy. So I'm, if anyone, I'm happy for Kevin. Uh, massive ah oh, cock moment. Believe me, I didn't even play for two days after that. But that is the reason why I lost Blackburn. In fact, why am I copying it? I don't want to be copying it. I should be cutting it and pasting it. At least we've got some Oasis on. <laughs> I might do it like this from now on with my Spotify playlist on the left hand side so then you know exactly what I'm listening to. <sighs> it's my Minecraft playlist. I think I said before I thought you pain on here. You did. Quite a few people did. Okay, this lower half has 279,000 blo- blocks in itself. Ah. Pasted it in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh, it's really struggling. There we go. Because then I can get rid of the entire back half. Did turn me to a few pints of Guinness. <laughs> Understandable. It's like when it happened to the Reebok. Obviously, I lost the Reebok during a data transfer. Um, that was obviously back when I was on Xbox. But it went the transfer went wrong. And I lost about four months worth. So, because of that, I, I think I replaced the mural and then I didn't play it for three months. Uh, when you on, I'm finishing up at about 11, so I'll be on more or less straight after. Right, so that's ready to go. Seven people in the stream now, guys. Again, I imagine that's from most people watching the conference final. Ozzy Osbourne. That's another one I could use for when I do Birmingham. Because Ozzy was a Brummie, wasn't he? Or he still is a Brummie. 
Use that for the TikTok video for when I do Birmingham. So I've got a choice of three for Birmingham now. I've got Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne, or Swim Deep. I mean, when I do United, it's obviously going to be the Stone Roses. That's better. <laughs> ACDC, if you want blood, you've got it. When I went on the coach to Barnsley for that second playoff match, the driver of the coach was literally just blasting ACDC the whole way. And this was one of the songs that came on. It was also used at the end of Final Destination 5. But it was also funny when we were just about to set off and obviously the coach driver had the music going already and the woman who like checks your tickets and stuff before you get on the coach she just pops her head on the coach and she was just like oh everybody will be head banging by the time you get to Barnsley and I just looked over and said yeah and the driver will be getting the dress like Bon Scott <laughs> My mate's still partying after Wednesday one. I'm glad Wednesday one. At least it took the Barnsley fans a peg down or two. They've gone really, really quiet. Yeah. I'm glad they were there taunting us and had a full-on pitch invasion when they beat us in that second leg at Orkwell. And even in that moment, given how they played against us, I knew Sheffield Wednesday would batter them. I mean, it wasn't quite a battering, but the fact that, that Josh Windass scored the winner with literally seconds to go before penalties... Then there's there's no really there's no real comeback from that. <laughs> I mean they struggled to beat us. The the only reason they beat us was because they got a dodgy free kick from the referee. Although when we can't even score an indirect from indirect free kick from 10 yards I think that sort of says it all but in the first leg we should have won like father like son indeed it's so obviously Dean Windass scored in the championship playoff final for Hull against Bristol City 
was 2008, I think, or 2009. One of them. I think it's next Thursday the fixtures are out, yeah. Uh, what date is it next Thursday? No, they come out on the 20th, so it's a week on Tuesday. I'll be in Devon then. So I go down to my mum's on Monday. Which means if I stream tomorrow, it'll be my last one for two weeks. If I don't, then. Well, if I stream on Friday, then that'll be the last one for two weeks. Uh, I could put the scoreboard in now, actually. No, thought about that because I've already copied the stand over, haven't I? So I could theoretically put the scoreboard in, but I can't be asked. I'll leave it until I copy it. Uh, let's see. Tell me, we've got some tunes on here. Yeah. There's one that I'm looking for. Absolutely. <laughs> Heart two. <laughs> um. Out to be this absolute banger. Right, I need pictures of the Springfield stand. Um, twenty fourth of May two thousand and eight, one hole one one nil. Yeah, it was either two, it was either oh eight or oh nine. I couldn't quite remember. Um, what we think in Declan Rice staying or going? Well, apparently he's been linked with Bayern Munich, so I would say he's going. I mean, he's won a European trophy at West Ham. I don't think it gets much better for him than that. So play tunnels around here. Is that all elev is that elevated up? So I've put in the Springfield stand, which is obviously the main stand. That's the one that I want, and yet it's giving me pictures of the one opposite, which I've already done. <laughs> uh, Mentor United, well, I think, is on the move. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to say, is it elevated up? Yeah, that's what I'm contemplating. That's why I'm trying to look for a picture. But I put in Springfield Stand on Google because that's what it's called. That's what the main stand's called. But it's just giving me pictures of either the other stand or stuff that's not even re like not even relevant. Like Old Trafford, why is that there? That is nowhere near Wigan. That's blurry as oh no, it's not blurry as hell. But it's still too small to be able to use. Oh no. Actually, yeah, it is. Ag.
That's the other one I was looking for. It's a championship ground, so why not? <laughs> Alright, let's try main stand. Oh, so now it shells me half of it. Come on. Well, that shows me a railing. That's not what I need. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I've got to do on this stand. I've got to turn half the roof into glass. Um... The Wiccan Wanderer. It wasn't you, Max, was it? <laughs> or is that the same picture that I already had? I just know it is. That's going to be annoying as hell if it was. It is the same image. Damn! I know what sort of picture I'm looking for, but it's whether it's on Google or not. This might help. That does help. I don't think... No, it's not. It's not elevated, it's just bigger seats. <laughs> Last block slab Minecraft needs. Yeah, I really wish they had that, but it is what it is. But yeah, they're not. It's not elevated, it's just bigger seats. It's an optical illusion. But what I do need is a row of three, maybe four blocks at the back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, three, maybe four blocks at the back, I think. Because there's a walkway going across. Sorry, Matt, I'm back. Any decent progress made? Uh, yeah, we're on the opposite stand. <laughs> I've copied it over. Nearly crashed the game. Thankfully, I didn't. Otherwise, that would have done a black burn. Um, and then, yeah, we just started working on the Springfield stand. Yeah, the, the reason why Blackburn corrupted was because I tried copying... I tried lifting the whole stadium up in one go. It erased the bottom half of the ground, most of the Riverside stand, and then crashed the game. Yeah, the amount of blocks I had to copy over was about 4.4 .4 million. That was for a quarter of the stadium. Hang on a minute. Oh. I thought it was a different image. It's not. I was just looking at the wrong section. Right, so there's a door here, so that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, right, so one, two, three, four, Find the fourth stairwell, 14 seats across. One, two, three, four. And then it's 12 to 14, so that's three, six, nine, 12, 12, 13, 14. So 
So that's that one, and then other side, three, six, nine, nine to eleven on the other side. <clears throat> three, six, nine. Uh, did you do it all at once? Yes. <laughs> I I raised the entire stadium at once on Blackburn. That's what caused it. But this one, it was only copying a quarter of the stadium. So it basically worked out that a quarter of that state, a quarter of this stadium is about four point four million blocks. So when I do it to copy it and flip it that way, I'm only going to do a section of a stand at the same time. So I'll do probably that half, that half, that half, and then this half. And I've also backed up the file. So hopefully we shouldn't have any issues next time. If we do, then I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, just trying to work this out. Hang on a minute. Quite interesting to see you don't do the pitch first. No, I think I'm one of the few builders out there who doesn't do the pitch first. I always do the stands first because if you do the pitch first, it limits how big how big you can build. Because then you end up with something like I don't know something like Old Trafford being on the same pitch as I don't know Bristol Rovers or Taunton Town or something like that. It's just unrealistic. Um, just looked at the picture on the stadium website twice and it definitely looks like Adidas was there. See, I thought so. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, and then there's a railing. 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. Right, so let's... 12 to the left of the second stairwell. I'm only going to mark this out because I'm going to end the stream in a minute. 3, 6, 9, 12. So that's there. And then it was 14 the other side. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. So there. Um, pretty sure above the disabled section there was the logo. Well, disabled bits are here. But I don't know what logos are above them. <coughs> um, all football pitches here are the same, mostly. Plus, I have to leave the gap at the end for the rugby pitch anyway. See, that's what I've got to do on the DW, because this is also used for rugby. The Wigan Warriors also play here. So I think that's why there's a lot more space around the edge from where the football pitch is. Um, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. And that's This was 2023, so there is no railing going across the front, actually. But I don't know how I'm going to do those seats. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I might have to do them black. Let's 
6, 9, 12, 14. So it's all of this one and then 14 this way. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. Do we can not own it? No, I think the council own it. It was built for the Warriors and Wigan Athletic moved in. Hello, yeah, I'm coming off in a minute. <laughs> um, seems typical in that area. Man City, no. City rent off the council, but it's their own ground. Um, that's good thinking that. Brit. Yeah, that probably works. Um, added our logo was therefore above the disabled sections. Just to get a slight change of texture. Yeah. I think we'll leave that as is for now. Right. I think tomorrow I'll probably stream this again. And then try and make some more progress we might even get onto the other end by the end of tomorrow um but yeah we'll see so it'll probably be a 7 30 8 o'clock start i'll obviously sort everything out i'll put that poll up as well regarding tutorials and stuff um but yeah as for now i will thank you all for joining the stream even though wigan were playing um yeah, thanks for all the comments, the likes, you name it, and I will see you all tomorrow. Cheers.